Chandigarh the city beautiful from manholes to buildings a city so well structurized and planned in a way that fit people of every kind this is my land Chandigarh a city built on over 59 villages so my father uh, Shimla se Chandigarh shift hue the 1968 mein 1968 mein jab Chandigarh shift hue to wo hue Punjab University post office mein तब पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी में इतने शायद एम्प्लॉयर्स नहीं होंगे तो वो पोस्ट ऑफिस एम्प्लॉयर्स को भी अपनी एकोमोडेशन दे देते थे तो उस टाइम में मेरे फादर कैंपस में रहते थे सी ब्लॉक में सी 42 और हम लोग बहुत छोटे थे वी वर इन प्राइमरी क्लासेस में थे तो हम छुट्टियों में उनके पास आया करते बस 17 का भी बिल्कुल अलग नजारा था क्योंकि नीलम के आगे से बसेस जाया करते थे अब तो वो सारा प्लेटफार्म बना दिया तो तब नीलम के आगे से बसेस जाती थी कैंपस के आगे से बसेस जाती थी और ये कल्चर ही नहीं था कोई ऑटो रिक्शास का रिक्शा जाती थी वो थ्री टायर रिक्शा रिक्शा पुलर्स दो मिनट में आ जाता था और पैदल चलने का कल्चर बहुत था ये डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पता नहीं कितने उसको कहते हैं कि कितने विलेजेस को यहां से उठा के चंडीगढ़ बनाया था तो कई तो विलेजेस वैसे ही आज भी जैसे स्टाई सेक्टर में नगला था नगला शायद उसको नगला विलेज बोलते थे लेकिन आज तक कि वो नगले नगला बस स्टॉप आज तक उसको बोलते हैं नगला बस स्टॉप 27 को फिर एक बड़ैल था बड़ैल भी आज तक वो ओरिजिनल विलेज भी रखे हुए उन्होंने लेकिन बड़ैल में अभी तक भी बजवाड़ा 22 में है ना बजवाड़े को भी बजवाड़ा बोला जाता है अच्छा फिर इधर विलेजेस और कचेड़ी विलेज मेरे को इतने विलेजेस का पता भी नहीं है लेकिन ओरिजिनल पल सोरा ये बीच बीच में जाओ तो ये विलेजेस हैं लेकिन इन इन्होंने ओरिजिनली उनको नहीं डिस्ट्रॉय किया और ये सुखना लेक का बहुत मजा आता था फिर धीरे-धीरे पता चला कि वहां इतने बड़े-बड़े वो वेस्ट मटेरियल पड़ा हुआ है और इतना बड़ा-बड़ा वो सारे ये जो कारकोल जिससे ये बनती हैं सड़के बनती हैं उनके वो पड़े हुए हैं ड्रम्स पड़े हुए हैं जैसे छोटे बच्चे स्कूल साइकिल पे आजकल तो मोटरसाइकिल पे गाड़ियों में जाने लग गए उस टाइम साइकिल पे जाते थे कि वहां पे देखते हैं क्या है वहां इतना फिर बाद में पता चला जब उनको वो हटाने लगे तो पता चला कि वो ओवर द इयर्स वेस्ट मटेरियल उठा उठा के वो नेकचन वो बना रहे थे एक रो गार्डन बना रहे थे वेस्ट चूड़ियां मतलब कोई ऐसा नहीं था दिए और ये जो हमारा फ्लश ये टूट जाती हैं क्योंकि बिल्डिंग ही सारा नया ही बन रहा था चंडीगढ़ तो पता नहीं क्या कुछ उस टाइम तो कहते हैं कि स्पेशल बुला बुला के खींच खींच के वो कह रहे थे इसको खास कर इसको चंडीगढ़ को बसाने के लिए बोल रहे थे कि इसकी ये किसी तरह बस जाए और ये ओरिजिनली मैं बताना भूल गई कि ये ये सपना ही पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू का था कि वो एक पेरिस ऑफ इंडिया बनाना चाहते थे तो उन्होंने अपनी तरफ से इसको पेरिस ऑफ इंडिया इतना सर्वे किया होगा शिवालिक फुट हिल्स में कि इसको एकदम ऊपर से शिमला में कुछ भी वेदर होता है वो इसको ज्यादा अफेक्ट करता है चंडीगढ़ को ज्यादा अफेक्ट और ग्रीनरी हो जहां एकदम प्लान सिटी लेक अरबुजियर से एक फ्रेंच वो था यहां का आर्किटेक्चर उसको बुला के उन्होंने ये कहा कि मैं इसको पेरिस ऑफ इंडिया बनाना चाहता हूं तो मेरे ख्याल से 1 2 30 तक ये फर्स्ट फेज में बना है चंडीगढ़ इसको बिल्कुल आज के गवर्नमेंट भी ओरिजिनल ही रखना चाहती है इसको कुछ बीच में कुछ गड़बड़ हो गई थी फ्लोर वाइज बिकने शुरू हो गए थे लेकिन अब इसको एज इट इज ही रखना चाहते हैं और यहां ये चंडीगढ़ ऐसे बनाया है कि तुम्हें कभी भी नहीं लगेगा कि पतझड़ में सारा चंडीगढ़ सूखा है नहीं अगर एक पेड़ सूखा तो दूसरा ग्रीन होगा ग्रीन ग्रीन हमेशा रहेगी Originally, a team from America as well as France was selected to build the city beautiful. But after the American team could not continue to build, the project was then given to the French team that was led by Lee Carbuzier with the chief architect of the project, Pierre Jeunet, on board. Hi, I'm Jupiter Gandhi. I'm an associate professor at the College of Architecture. In fact, the very college in which I also studied way back in 92-97. And uh, my involvement with architecture in general was because I fell in love with buildings and how they look. And when I came to Chandigarh, 
I realized that okay, I was in the Makkah of architecture, and I realized that this is the city I'm going to be in, even though I belong to Delhi. But I realized that this is the city I'm going to be in. But why is it so? Like most people actually talk about Chandigarh as this, you know, iconic place of architecture. But uh, I would like to highlight a little different thing that this architecture was a result of a spirit that was born out of the partition of the country. You know that uh, that spirit that we have to make something new. We have to have a symbol. that shows the freedom that we have and also as nehru said the nation's faith in the future at that time we were looking for some tangible symbols some tangible things that would show that how do we want to go forward that we wanted to declare to the world that india was no longer a, you know a country which was brought down by the british rule that we were coming into our own we were coming into our own power and we needed symbols like that and a city becomes a very potent tool to do that of course there was a practical necessity that we did not have a capital for the eastern punjab that came our side but besides that this opportunity to create a symbol and to create a like a vocabulary of how india would develop later on that became very important and that is how chandigarh came around now when i talk about the spirit of the country or or the city at that time it was actually defined by the aspirations of the indians we normally feel that you know it was kabuzia who came here who said okay let's make a city like that let's make a city like this but no it was actually a very indian city mm-hmm. and kabuzia actually helped us to realize the dream that we had that is something that most people don't understand about chandigarh that's very much a indian city made by a indian team conceptualized by indians but given shape by kabuzia by a profession and now a teacher architect i have been experiencing the city beautiful where i am very proud to say i've been born in this city in the year 1969 so i've actually grown with the way the city has grown and also blossomed as we can see today and what really truly fascinates me as a citizen of chandigarh and comparing it to other cities across india and across the world also to some of which i have been i think uh, chandigarh stands out in terms of its greens and greens at various scales so if i talk about the bucolic in chandigarh that is a most important facet which i feel the city must have and its relationship to ecology this reminds me of a story that when kobusia was uh, asked to design uh, the city which many say he did on a paper napkin and while doing a reconnaissance survey through a helicopter over the site which was dotted by mango and chikku orchards and the uh, rivulets which were sukhna cho and the patiali ki rao and the majestic backdrop of the shivalik hills uh, he twisted or rather he skewed the grid that he was designing for chandigarh and he brought in what he is famously known for bringing the forest into the city and this forest into the city is actually the leisure valley so this with the end show which is a 6 meter deep gorge that flows through the heartland of chandigarh from the north to the south and brings beautiful gardens to all the sectors it traverses was really a man made no it was a natural gorge which took care of all the rain water and continues to take care of all the extra rain water the surface runoffs that come from the roads and from the greens of the city and the soft areas and gradually takes it southwards because the slope of the city is southwards and finally disposes of the water back into the ground so i think in terms of sustainability this is one very beautiful way that chandigarh is able to sustain and offer a green character the second story that really fascinates me is how did chandigarh develop its green cup which is considered to be the largest in india in any city even beyond bangalore 
So this reason is attributed to none else but Dr. Ernest Mdawa, who was the first chief commissioner of the city, and his love for plants. And do you know that Chandigarh had its nurseries right from the beginning of the city? So what you enjoy today as beautiful nurseries, you know, dotting the landscape of the periphery of Chandigarh is actually the gift of Dr. M. Nawa to the city because being a botanist and a great traveler, he was very fond of collecting seeds and bringing back saplings from different parts of his travels, which were way back in Malaysia and South Asia and Nepal also. So wherever he would go, he would bring back seeds. And when Kobuzi was deciding on the plantation scheme of Chandigarh, it was Ms. Rindhawa which really, you know, emerged these on ground. So every morning he would stay five, for about 40 miles away from Chandigarh at a town called Roper. So he would drive down into his lorry and actually be on site to see that the saplings that he was planting were being watered by the mush carts every day, every single day. And today, I think we are nearly 70 plus years since the city got made. And no, not, not only 70, but I think 80 plus years since the city got made, since the city emerged. And the beautiful trees that we enjoy, the shade that we enjoy in the parched heat, and even the birds nest in these trees. And we have so many migratory birds coming to Chandigarh in this season, which is from beginning November, right up to the end of February, early March, is because these trees provide such a beautiful nesting ground. And these are trees which are colorful, there are different avenues which are named after the trees. And I think personally, I'm blessed to have a place of my own in this city, which is not only the city beautiful, I would like to call it the city bountiful, because it's full of good things for all of us.